Hey everybody, it's your boy Jimmy here. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and enjoy the video. In this series, both Phil and myself will be opening 24 randomized packs generated by the YGO Pro Pack Simulator. These packs could be from any main or side set that has been released into the game from Phantom Nightmare to Turbo Pack 3. We then take those randomly generated packs and attempt to make the most competent deck possible and play a best 2 out of 3 match to determine the winner. Then, at the beginning of next episode, we will be opening 24 new packs and adding those to our collection as well. Also, at the beginning of the series, we'll be randomly given one single pre-con determined by spinning a wheel to start a collection. Welcome to our take on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series. Alright, welcome back YouTube. Uh, I'm back with my friend Philly J from Different Dimension Gaming. Dude, I'm done losing. <laughs> well, maybe the you'll... reverse sweep is coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe you'll pick something good up off this uh, loser's wheel to uh, put you ahead of me. Um, I'm not even that far ahead of you. I have like the most OP card I have that I can actually use is like a Chaos Angel, which is kind of OP, but like. I'm just winning with the structure deck stuff, which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you have like a fully con almost constructed harpy deck, and I'm still winning somehow with like yeah. a bunch of one ofs. <laughs> the problem with the constructed harpy deck is that harpies suck. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's spin my winner's wheel here. Oh, I guess I should uh, actually show you what's going on here. Yeah, if you don't mind. Just cut this part out. Discord wants to cooperate. There we go. Go live. All right, let me know when you can see it. <clears throat> All righty. So let me spin my winner's wheel here. Give it a couple clicks. What am I getting today? Oh. Oh. No. No. Yes! Oh yes! A card There's craft? No. Wait. That's the best thing on my wheel. Let's go. Oh, the rich, it's <laughs> so much richer. <laughs> okay, I can construct any card in the game. Just one copy. My God. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what you get off the loser's wheel. Still a lot more powerful. You can you have the better chance of getting the card craft, but also a better chance of getting uh, the structure deck, a snatch steel, um, lots and lots of good stuff. So we'll give it a few clicks here as well. Just three extra. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. Not quite as good as mine, but. Already. Packs, man. <laughs> twenty-seven. Exactly. You could get twenty-seven. You could get duplicates technically of packs still. Alrighty, let's um, oh. let's jump right into these packs, shall we? All right. We'll see you in the duels. See you in the duels. Three twenty-four. All right. Let's jump right into these packs. <clears throat> so first up, we got Gold Series two thousand eight. Uh, there could be some good stuff in here. Lots of good reprints. Uh, Swarm of Scarabs, Doom Dozer, that's hilarious. Uh, Deslacuda, should we play um, uh, Pac-Man? Uh, we got a Skill Drain, ooh, that's really good. Rivalry, uh, I don't know if this is cool. Each player can only control one type, that's all right. Um, Silva's heavy if we can get, uh... <coughs> oh, a Rota, oh, a Breaker, oh my God. Oh, that's actually really good. We got a Rota, a Breaker, a Skill Drain. Uh, Silva's all right if we can get some more Dark um, <coughs> dark World stuff. Uh, Doom Dozer's funny if we get uh, Insect stuff, but all in all, that pack's solid. Um, reasoning. Uh, I don't think we're going to be summoning tit uh, Titanial. Uh, number four, uh, number ten. <laughs> Uh, number 10, Illuminite. Uh, three level 4 monsters. It's going to be hard to summon, but it's uh, still a good generic rank 4 that we can technically go into. Okay, we've got some bangers. We're going to start with a couple stinkers, though. Got to start with the stinkers. Uh, yeah. Fighting Spirit might not be the worst thing. Could go with our Mahavela. Second Shield and Sword. I don't even know what Conscription does. That's horrible. Ulti. 
Sprite Red is not the worst card in the world, actually. Black Salamander Catalyzer. That's really good. Oh, the Dark Worlds are coming together, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Tri Brigade Showdown. I don't know if this is good. I haven't played Tri Brigade in a while. Uh, add to your hands. Uh, no, probably not. Uh, green and red gadget. That's pretty good. If we could get uh, yellow or some maybe some other ones. Um, does this require gadgets too? Yeah. Okay. All right. Huge tin. One time. Last time we opened this, we got an ash. Give me something as good. Okay. Fabled. Beat trooper. Fabled. Okay. Okay. We've got. Oh, give me an albaz. Albaz one time. Blue eyes, white dragon. Let's go. Um, we don't have the blue eyes core. He has the blue eyes core, but uh, that's pretty funny uh, that we pulled that. Uh, next card, <clears throat> uh, Archfeed and Eccentric. That's a good card. Uh, we don't have a Pendulum deck at all, but it's good. 2017 tins. Um, maybe play the Dwarf Star Dragon. Another blue eyes card. Dude, I am. Oh, Dryden's kind of sick. We are a blue eyes white dragon off of almost having a constructed blue eyes deck. Um, Alibur of Despia. King of the Swamp. That's good. That's pretty generic. If we wanted to ever pivot into any uh, fusion focused deck, we can actually use that. Ghost Trick Skeleton Jack Frost. Uh, don't think we're going to play Ghost Tricks anytime soon. It's going to be. We're going to need a lot of cards to actually make that good. I think his deck is mostly darks. We have a god. We have a god card. Does that mean we win? Jim, does that mean that I win? Card. Raw Mega Pack. Uh, Mizuki. That's good. Uh, great Shogun Shien if we pulled some more. Ooh, Sidra! Yes! Yeah, baby, Sidra! And a second Macrocosmos. That's crazy. Okay, this is a, this was a really good pack. Especially for our deck. Uh, Chaz Princeton. Uh, nothing there. Bentless Revenge. Oh, okay, we have another rank four. Someone dice is interesting. This needs some kind of crappy Synchron, right? Yeah. But now we can play our Synchron that we have. Our, um, whatever his name is. And Speed Warrior is a free body, right? Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Oh, oh, that's... Oh, I thought... Oh, we got Redox! What? <laughs> oh. That's kind of hilarious. Do we have a dragon deck we can build with that? That'd be hilarious. Last pack, Dragon's Legend 2. Oh, Dragon's Legend 2. Uh, this is going to be a dud. Yeah, some Prediction Princess stuff. Tyrant Burst Dragon. Is this generic? Nope, it's a Critias card. Yeah, okay. So we pulled some good stuff. Uh, definitely some good old school stuff that we can use in our deck today. Um, second copy of Macrocosmos uh, down here somewhere. Um, so let's add this to our collection and we'll think about what kind of card we want to add to our, uh, pool. Um, okay. Oh, I would love to have a Awaken the Dragon, man. Distance Force. Merchant's not terrible. We might be too far in at this point. Um... Okay, I guess we'll add to the collection and 180 cards. Oh my goodness. All right, I guess we'll see you in the deck profile. All right, this might seem like a weird pickup. Um, there was a few uh, cards I wanted to take, but I didn't want to take anything too OP, like, you know, like a Nibiru, something like crazy that's just going to blow them out. I wanted to keep the game fun. So, uh, I'm actually going to take a number S39 Utopia the Lightning because I already have two Utopias. They're pretty easy to summon in my deck. Um, and this is a big blowout card by itself. That's kind of makes the game fun. So this is what I'm actually going to uh, take for my uh, pickup. I'll add that to my collection and let's get to deck building. Well, 
I guess this is it. We have entirely abandoned our structure deck. I think we're still playing four cards from it. We're playing the one MST, the, the Heavy Storm, Sakuretsu, Call the Haunted, the Magic Jammer. So maybe five cards from it. And everything else is, is from our draft. We're, we're playing a three tribute summons just because, I mean, Obelisk, if we can get it out, we might just win the game because it can't be targeted. And being 4,000 attack is huge. Uh, the Caius, if, again, if we if we can get these two out, I think they're, they're game-winning cards. Uh, we've got our level 8 Synchro plays. We've got a couple rank 4 plays. I really just, I want to win one, and I think that this is the deck that might get us there. And we're also playing 40 cards, which is the first time. Episode 3, you know? Our side deck is interesting. We're playing our other two Ghost Girls still. We've got our Maha Velo. And we've got our, a couple pendulum scales just in case you want to go for like a turbo. Uh, we've got exactly six scales, three low, three high, that all don't have a restriction effect on the pendulum summon. The one Minecraft, the one My Body, and the one Noble Man Eater Buck, which I think is just a really funny card. A tribute set is going to really put him off his game, I think. And then the extra deck, we're still playing our three instant fusion targets. Uh, our. We finally added our Urbellum to our Synchro Pool. Hot Red, I want to make this one time, man. Our Leo. Belt, which almost gave us the first game. Turbo Warrior, now that we can possibly summon it. Uh, Ruddy Rose, which is... I'm hesitant to play it, but I think that if we get into a situation where his Grand Maju is offline... Or it's in the graveyard, we might just be able to summon this and completely shut down his entire graveyard base strat. Uh, our rank fours, we added in the Sioux ship, and then we added in our Lina just to have another body. If we can somehow get Lina's effect off, I think we're in a really good position to get out something like Archaeus. And I mean, I just. I want to win one, and clearly our structure deck was not the way to do that. Because his structure deck out of is pretty good, and I think we're finally on a strat where we're not graveyard dependent. But we're also in a position where I'm not loving the fact that he's still got that much like banish fuel. So we are on the three back row removal. Well, I guess we'll see how it goes. Catch you guys in the duels. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my deck. Um, so, largely, we're playing the same deck again, uh, unsurprisingly, because we pulled some uh, absolute bangers that work with this deck. Um, so, new additions to this deck go for Breaker, the Magical Warrior. He can just pop a spell or trap. Um, also, it just has 300 extras. He's just a 1900 right, uh, right at summon. Uh, Sidra, everybody knows what Sidra does. It's my favorite card in the game. Uh, we threw in the DD Warrior Lady because uh, last two games we forgot this came with our structure deck, so we were playing the just DD Warrior uh, instead. So we threw this in because it's a lot better. Um, in addition, we threw in the second Kaiku. Um, as for spells and traps, we uh, we did pull a second Rota, but because we're playing traditional. Uh, I can only play one Rota anyways, so uh, we still just have the one Rota, uh, but we did throw in the second Macro Cosmos, and then the Ultimate Offering. This is something I looked through my collection and saw, and it's just Ultimate Offering like back in the day, but way better. So I just pay a thousand life points, and then I get to Normal Summon three times that turn, and it's not reciprocal like regular Ultimate Offering is, so uh, yeah, that's crazy. I can just blow my, I can blow, fill out instantly with this card uh, if I have the right cards in hand and then also during my opponent's battle phase I can pay another 500 and then just summon another monster right away so because it's a normal summon tribute summons would also technically count so I could on their battle phase tribute summon for my Caius my cyber dragon or my uh, Gyruda uh, right in their battle phase and then they either have to redeclare or in the case of summoning specifically Caius I can banish something in their battle phase so that's crazy um, and then for the side deck we just filled it out more we took some cards out put some other cards in we threw in our two engage here just in case we want some um, I don't know more go through our deck more you know uh, 
I don't really have anything else I need to put in this slot at the moment. Nothing really crazy. Um, everything else in this uh, extra deck, though, is, is quite good. Skill Drain, if he's playing something with crazy uh, effects. Uh, Mind Crush um, could come up if I know what he's playing. Um, Magic Drain, same thing. Spell Can they get a spell card? Uh, this is still in here in case he's still on the wind deck, which, because I'm still on the fucking structure deck as well, I expect he is. Knock, because it's Knock. Uh, Chalice, uh, I messed that up in the, uh, first game there, but, uh, you know, whatever. Um, we're playing the Chaos End as a board wipe, because this deck revolves largely around, um, removing from play stuff, so this is just almost always a board wipe. Uh, Night Assailant is just man eater bug, but it can get flip effects back from the grave. Uh, Neospatian Grand Mole, we know what that does. Uh, I put this in the side deck instead of the main deck because uh, we have some better monsters now, and because we're not always going to be special summoning um, all the time, as we've seen in the last few episodes. So I'm putting this in the side deck just for now. And then the four star Ladybug of Doom. And then for the extra deck, the only changes I've made are adding the Illuminite we pulled. Um, not the craziest card in the world, but it can uh, do some stuff. Um, and then our uh, prize wheel, Utopia the Lightning. Because um, we can easily go into our Utopia with our deck and then just immediately rank up into Utopia the Lightning. And that could blow out a game just by itself. And that is our deck for the week. Uh, so let's get, uh, let's get into the duel. All right, Phil, uh, how was your pulls? They were okay. Nothing... I don't think anything that, like, game warping... I am worried about your craft, to be honest. <laughs> well, I'll, 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 like, I'll uh, give you a hint that I didn't pull... I didn't craft anything too crazy. Like, it's crazy, but I didn't, you know, craft, like, a big blowout card, like, Nib or lightning storm or anything crazy like that like i wanted to keep it a little fair but it's still really good um and i'm excited to, to actually try and use it today yeah see, i i would have gone mental with i would have done like right <laughs> or something <laughs> um i will say that i did pull a second rota and was going to try and put it into my deck and then i forgot we were playing traditional so i can only play one anyway so i just have two rota for no reason that's so unfortunate <laughs> well um other than that, my, my pulls were actually pretty decent, especially for my deck specifically. Um, it just fl my, my pulls, I will spoil, uh, flushed out what I already have a bit more. Oh, so lovely. my deck is uh, just a bit stronger than it was yet last week. <laughs> um, all right, let's jump right into this game. Uh, let's go. Boop. Oh, he's learning. All righty. Um, I want to go first. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm just going to set one to pass. All right. Drop a turn. I didn't die. Oh my god. That's actually really interesting. All right, I'm going to. Stand by main. I'm going to set a card. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to activate Trap Fitch Vesticulo from my hand. Okay. Oh, you put the black horn in this week. Special summon that. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to. Normal summon Unizombie. Okay. I'm going to Go for a seven. Clear the effect of Unizombie. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to go for eight. Extend from deck my copy of Brick Clown. Mm -hmm. Which okay. will. Oh, it has to be a zombie that I send. Ah, uh, he looks zombie enough. <laughs> All 
right, so in that case. Oh wait, that's yeah, we'll do that. Right, I'm going to encroach them in. Okay. My X Saber Urbellum. Okay. Uh okay. You go to battle and yep. you'll swing. Okay. Well, you did get over my vanilla. Just barely. Nice. <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't have a second monster, because that would suck. <laughs> okay, draw for turn. Stand by main. Um, I'm going to activate reinforcement of the army. Sure. I'm going to pick up. I'm going to pick up a copy of Photon Thrasher. Sure. I'm going to special summon special summon said Photon Thrasher. Mm -hmm. All good? Yep. I'm going to tribute him for Caius Ooh. the Shadow Monarch. <laughs> and then use his effect on Urbella. Alrighty, so from there, I will just go battle and poke for 24. Main phase two, I'm going to set one face down and go to end phase. Okay, drop turn. That's not bad. Stand by main. Touch the interior top, activate effect. Okay. I got my copy of Taki Tomborg. Mm -hmm. Do you have a rank three this week? I don't, unfortunately. Oh. I'm so glad I have the only rank I, three between the two. I have a us. couple. I have I have a rank three, but it sucks. No, oh, not quite as good as my Leviathan Dragon. No, it actually, it's aggressively worse. Uh, well, I unfortunately don't even have like a good level three pool to even use Leviathan Dragon. Okay, that topples over the Caius. Playing over it. I will take my two. Second main and pass it. Stand by main. Um, I'm just gonna set one and pass and hope that's good enough. Hope you can't kill me All next right. turn. Drop a turn. Um. Okay. Just go straight to battle. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That's, uh, that's turning. All right, go. Like a mirror forge or something? No. I didn't mean to click it at all, it just covered over okay. and clicked. Alright, I'll take both. Second main. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll pass it back. Draw for turn. Um.
Um, I'm going to go for Call of the Haunted. Okay. Special summoning my Kai's the Shadow Monarch. Sure. Um, I will go battle mm-hmm. and attack over your tear top. Sure. I will go main phase two. I will set a new card and end my turn. Draw turn. Hmm. Stand by me. Mm-hmm. I'll go battle phase. I'll, I'll swing. Okay, I will take it. I will take my 200. Second main. I will take that one. And that. <laughs> this is brutal. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's interesting. Stand by me. Mm-hmm. Duality. Okay. Oh, those are all pretty mm-hmm. fucking good. Um. Wow, those are like some of the best cards in your whole deck. <laughs> I think, man, I think that just does it for me, actually. Way me the game, but it does it pretty well. Yeah, I saw that coming. All right, I'm going to. Activate Wind Blast. Mm-hmm. Discarding my Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> what? Oh, <that's> it again. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to chain Emergency Provisions to send Wind Blast to Grave to gain a thousand. Okay. And we're going to storm. Yep. I have no response. My bottomless and my return from the different dimension. And we'll swing for 26. I will take it up. Set one pass. Hope you don't have another monster. Stand by me. Mm-hmm. Swing over. Thank God. Okay. Ross the forest beat down. It's working. Second main, set one, I'll pass. Oh. Uh. Get me back in the game, sorry. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go into my extra deck. I'm going to banish my Fright for Wolf. Oh, Eater. That, that, uh, that, and that and we'll go for this and special summon my eater of millions is that good mm-hmm. yep i will activate soul release okay i will banish my return my bottomless uh, my call the haunted my reinforcement and my vanilla. Mm-hmm. And then I will normal summon Grand Module. Ooh, okay. 
Uh, so what is that? That is 4K. 4,000. And then 1,000 on the eater. Um, okay, and then... I will go battle phase. Mm -hmm. I will declare eater into Frostosaurus and then use its effect at the start of the damage step. And then I will poke for 4K direct. Sure. Uh, main phase two, end phase. Uh, let's just hope you don't have a blowout card that wouldn't do the game. Well, unfortunately for you, James, this duel's over. Is it? I activate Dark Hole. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. Now, I activate Call of the Haunted. Oh, no. Bringing forth my Egyptian god. <laughs> Obelisk. No way. <laughs> Dude, I just lose to Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs>
Stand by main. Yeah, I'll just go battle phase, attack over. Ash? Ooh, that's unfortunate. Uh, end turn. Hmm. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. That one. Path. Um. I'm going to set one card face down and then just attack for 25. On attack declaration, I'm going to activate Karma Cut. Just get rid of it. On attack declaration? Yeah. Uh, you can't activate cards or effects. Or on on in short to the battle phase, whatever. It's in, in, okay, on, okay, so... Uh, banish that target, and... Okay, so this gets banished. Let's go to the grave. All right. Main phase two. I will simply... I'll be looking at, at, at my graveyard. I'm just can looking. You, I'm just looking. Can you possibly do it, my? If you have a monster reborn, I'm just. I'm looking. gonna lose it. <laughs> I'm just looking. Don't mind me. Uh, enter. All right, come on, Roger. Just peeking at the. Um, graveyard. Hmm. Oh, nothing. Okay. Nothing. All right. Stand by main. Um, <clears throat> I'm simply going to tribute where the button is. Uh, my exiled force to normal summon my Phoenix Beast Skyruda. Sure. Is that fine? Yeah. Go 25 direct. Uh, from there, in my turn. Drop turn. Oh, I messed up. Stand by main. <clears throat> I'm going to go to battle phase. Poke for 25. Um. Last. I will put that on my deck. Uh, main phase two. I will set one. I will set one. And I'll pass it to you. Drop chain. Come on, dude. So clearly, one of those back row is not in Call of the Haunted. That's what I was expecting when you threw that obelisk down. Uh, main phase one. <clears throat> I am going to. Okay. If you don't have a response, this might be game. I'm going to tribute my treeborn frog and normal summon Caius the Shadow Monarch. Okay. And effect uh, on here, new set. Okay. Fortunately, that is not enough. I'm going to activate Return from the Different Dimension. Okay. And Special Summon my Utopia the Lightning from my Banish Zone. That good? Yep. Battle Phase. Attack for 25. Hey. <laughs> All right, you your choice. Um Just 
second, huh? All right. Okay, okay want well, the extra card. Um. I'm going to set one, two, and then three, and then activate Swords of Revealing Light, and end my turn. Sure. Stand by main. into main I'm going to set one more and then I'm going to flip morphing jar okay so we'll both discard our whole hand so one for me also one on this and then draw five Alrighty, so from here, <clears throat> I am going to I'm just going to go battle phase and try and poke over whatever this is with my morphing jar. Get my big shield guard now. Okay. Da, 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 da. Well, I will take my what is that? 19. Get punished massively for that. Main phase two. I will simply set one and end my turn. Drop a turn. Oh man. I'm going to stand by main. Normal summon my summoner monk. Activate effect. Ooh, okay. Okay. Discard my hammer dot. Special summon. My mad arch beam. Okay. Uh, going for rank four. Now, I'm going to activate the start of Synchron in my graveyard. Tribute mm -hmm. my Big Shield Gardener to Special Summon it. Come in. My hot red dragon arch fiend. Okay, uh, I'm immediately activating right. bottomless on that. Sure. 
Uh, actually, I'll activate seven tools. Alrighty. That does it. And I will... That one. Mm -hmm. Well, end my turn. Okay. Stand by... I misplayed a little bit that turn, but I think it's okay. Uh, also, two counters on swords. So. What do I do with this? Uh, okay. <clears throat> I do have... I'm going to normal summon my DD survivor. Okay. I'm going to go into my extra deck. Banish this. This. Uh, this. This. And this. And special summon my eater. You can banish as many as you want, right? It just has to be a, a minimum of five. Oh, I didn't know that. No, I didn't yeah. know that at all. Okay. At, well. it, I think it's at least five. You have five or more. Yeah, I didn't read that part of the card. Um, whoops. <clears throat> all right, well, I'll just go battle phase. Okay. I'll declare into hot and use eater. Sure. And then I will declare over Mad Archfiend and Crash. I'm gonna oh. Karma Cut on Attack Deck. Okay. On my uh, e uh, DD? On you, it has to be your DD, yeah. Uh, it, oh, it is banished, okay. Um, I will go main phase two. Mm hmm. Set one card face down, end phase, uh, DD comes back. Drop the turn. Oh, hey. I think you're in trouble, fella. Am I? Stand by a main. Mm -hmm. Because you control more monsters than I do, I'm going to special summon my Blaster Core Cannon. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to tribute my Blaster Core Cannon and my Mad Arch Fiend to summon Ayeth the Mega Monarch. Okay. This card is tribute to turn one card of the field, banish it, and you do inflict a thousand damage. Alrighty. Okay. And since I tributed a, a dark monster, oh. I can banish two cards. Yep. You can. I'm going to banish the Eater of Millions. Yep. And th this one. That is my Phantom Knight's Wing. And you will take 2,000 damage. Take my 2k. And I will end my turn. Alrighty. Um, okay. I will stand by me. Swords is gone. Swords is gone. Well, what the heck? I am. Just going to. That is no word. Um. Switch these to defense. Set a card and end my turn. Drop a turn. Stand by me. Hmm. Gonna 
go to battle. Mm-hmm. We'll attack your morphing jar. Alright, morphing jar is no more. Attack in main. That one at the back. Draw for turn. Um, I'm going to tribute my Treeborn Frog for my own regular Caius, the Shadow Monarch, and use its effect on your Caius. Uh, sure. Then you'll take one grand from that. Yeah. I will switch my DD Survivor to attack and attempt to go to battle phase. Yeah. Uh, declare with DD Survivor. Yep. Declare with Caius. Uh, my turn. Rock return. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. Going to normal summon goblin attack for Yep. On attack declaration, I'm going to activate right. drowning near force. That is only on direct attacks. That is only on direct attacks. Ignore that I have that. <laughs> Alright, we'll take my 500. Second main. And by main, I'm going to activate Rhoda. I will match Jammer. Okay. Okay, um... Okay, I will just go battle and attack over. And end my turn. Drop turn. Um, stand by me. Okay. That is a card. Oh. Did you already get your... Oh, you threw it over there. I opened it. Stand and by. Um, your activated, activated morphing jar. Yeah, I'll just go battle phase, uh, Caius in. And turn. Uh, I will activate in response and get that one. Fair. Stand by main. Uh, that is the end of the game. I will normal summon Bazoo and yep. attack for game. Yep. Damn. <laughs> Third week in a row. Uh, we're getting close to the the five uh, fifth episode bans here too. So <laughs> that's kind of scary. Um, Did I get anything crazy that you didn't see this week? I don't think so. I think um, well, maybe just that. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Um, I got 
a copy of Breaker. Well, Breaker's good. I got a second copy of Kaiku. Mm -hmm. um, I got a second copy of Macrocosmos. Oh, God. Um, then you saw that Utopia of the Lightning I picked up. Uh, that was my yeah. card craft. I didn't want to pick up anything too annoying and stupid. Yeah, just a 5,000 attack can't be yeah, responded well, to. Yeah, I mean, like, Nothing I want something good, crazy. but, like... Uh, I did pick up an Illuminite, so it's not the greatest rank four of all time, but it's, it does something. Um, and then the only other crazy thing I think you didn't see from me uh, that I had in my hand this entire time was my one copy of Cyber Dragon. Ooh, Cydra. Yeah. So I was hoping to summon that at some point, but it never came up, unfortunately. Um, the obelisk was probably the card I was kind of most hyped for this week. Well, it won you the first game. So. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled um, it. I was like, "There's no way we we can use this." And I was like, "If we can get it in grave, <laughs> we can do some shenanigans." Next week, you pull a, a, a monster reborn as well, so you can just oh. keep tossing it to the grave, foolish burials and stuff to just keep throwing it in the <laughs> grave and instantly reviving it. That'd be crazy. Um, yeah, I didn't have much else. Um, I've had this card for a while, but I haven't had a, an ability to use it. Shadow's Light. Um, oh, yeah. This card's actually really cool because a lot of the uh, dark monsters in my deck are actually warriors. Uh, so I can mm -hmm. actually go Shadow's Light into something like a DD Warrior later. Uh, and then mm -hmm. just have two level fours on the field, which is quite good. Oh, actually, one card that is in my side deck that I just found in my collection is called um Ulta Meat Offering. Oh yeah, yeah. Um That's I nice. just yeah, <laughs> I read that and I was like that's kind of funny and really good cuz that one card by itself could just win the game cuz three normal summons in my deck or a normal summon on your battle phase I could tribute for like a Caius in your battle phase. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um but yeah, I didn't pull anything super super crazy this week either. Um I didn't I didn't either. Um but uh Looks like I uh, I won this episode yet again. Um, uh, how are you feeling about that? I mean, I definitely think my deck is more consistent. Uh, I feel like that too. I feel like I didn't see like any um, of the wind stuff this time. No, I have pretty much taken my structure deck and thrown it away. I have not. I'm still playing because they keep <laughs> giving me cards that are good for my structure deck. Yeah, turns um, out wind's not that good. <laughs> just really, yeah, just wind. Plain old wind like, is not that like, good. Um, unless you're playing like speed roids or wind witch, wind's pretty garbage. Yeah, I don't know. It's it, it, yeah. I what I was trying to find. Like, you're gonna hate me for this. Uh, that I was thinking this way, but uh, I was trying to find some option for me to use my dragoon as my card craft this week. Mm. Um, I don't think that one card I think you'd have to do like three separate cards to do it yeah what what I was thinking because I actually oh one th crazy thing I did pull that I can't even play yet um, I pulled an Alubur I pulled the fusion that needs a Despia did you? that, that dragon that burns for six. Oh yes um, I was going to craft branded fusion this week actually and then just hope i get another card craft or hope <laughs> i pull a fallen later and then yeah. also like a lubellian and then i have the full combo to go into a dragoon um yeah because yeah. i also pulled a king of the swamp this week um, oh okay so i could there is a, an avenue for me to actually go into a dragoon uh later right. on but i decided um that required just too many little moving pieces like for me to actually pull stuff that i don't know it, it just required too much luck so instead i uh opted to go for something i can actually use which is utopia the lightning um yeah it, it, it's too many one ofs that if you draw through the wrong one you're screwed exactly um one thing i did pull this week uh that you were talking about last week because your pool was actually coming together really well I did pull one copy of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Of course you did. 
and then I pulled a second deep eyes <laughs> white dragon as well. I don't have I any pulled... blue eyes pool, but I have a blue eyes. I pulled a, a dragon spirit of white this week, so you know my my pool continues to grow. <laughs> I just have no water. Well, if you um, if you roll a snatch uh, next week, you could steal yeah. my blue eyes. <laughs> so. And then maybe even pull another one. That'd be crazy. If you pull came with a near constructed blue eyes deck, that'd be crazy. <laughs> 2016 blue eyes rolling up. Versus uh, 20, 2004 uh, <laughs> Caius banishing. Kind of good stuff. Yeah, just kind of random good stuff. Um, but yeah, that's 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 it. I guess that's all I that's all I got for you this week. Yeah, I think that was a solid episode. All right, well, um, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, remember to like and subscribe to both of our channels, and uh, see you next week. See you next week.